guys so welcome back to my channel I know it's been a while since I actually made a video where I kind of talk um, but you know life happens I was kind of busy also busy freelancing so I didn't really have the chance to sit down and film or I wasn't inspired this is actually the first time I've worn makeup in probably a month um, like a full face and everything I do I normally just do my eyebrows and mascara but anyways I just really wanted to film today I used the where is it oh the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette I haven't used this in a while I used the shades in there I really like the way it came out I like the way everything came out even my face makeup so I'm glad I filmed that although I'm not talking through the, with my face makeup because I do the same thing all the time I do talk throughout my eyes so I so uh, I will include the face makeup, but that's just going to be like sped up. Is that how you say it? Sped up. Um, but other than that, I hope you like this look. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and don't forget to subscribe. And if there's any certain colors or looks that you want to see me create or any different type of videos, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. Um, so that way we can talk. I love getting messages from you guys. But other than that, I don't have anything else to say. I hope you enjoyed the video, and yeah, go ahead and just keep on watching if you want to see how I did this pretty eye look. Okay, so the palette I'm going to be using today, the palette I'm going to be using today is the Kath Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. And starting off, I'm going to be taking a Wet n Wild blending brush in this shade right here. It's just a nice warm transition shade, which is what I will obviously be using this for. So I'm just going to put this in the crease and kind of just throw it everywhere. And I'm also going to start shaping the way I want the look to go. So it's I am going to kind of wing it out a little bit. You could also use tape if you'd like, but I just use makeup wipes to clean it up as opposed to tape because sometimes the tape can be pretty uncomfortable for me. And this doesn't have to be too precise when you wing it out because obviously darker colors will be making that wing a little bit more... Um, prominent I guess so this one is just kind of blending it out everywhere so it's going to be easier to blend out those darker shades and like I said I use makeup wipes so I it doesn't have to be too precise I do kind of just throw it down here and then the makeup wipe will just clean that up and doing the same thing although this is just going to stay in the crease and also going to start winging out the eyeshadow at the end. And to really make sure it blends it out, I'm kind of just going to throw it all over my lid. I will go in with some concealer after, so that's what I'll use to clean it up. The next brush is the Sigma Buff and Blend brush. It is their E39. In the corner right here, this is where I want it the darkest. So I'm doing patting motions since it's a very dense brush. It's going to just pack it on. And then I also kind of just drag it over. And I will also put this in the crease a little bit keeping it really low because I don't want this to be too intense up above but like I said I will go in with concealer so it doesn't matter how low it gets as long as it's blended out nicely the concealer is just going to clean it up And then I do go back and forth with the Coastal Sense Blending Brush since the shade I used for this one was a bit lighter. 
than this maroon one or the purplish one. It's just going to help me blend it out a little bit better. And then obviously going back in, keeping it pretty dark. And I also want it to be pretty dark here in the inner corner so that way there's like an intense line. Kind of like in this eye how you see it being brought over. And then going back in with that wet and wild brush, I'm just going to blend everything out. going in with this Coastal Scents brush. It does not have a name, but it's just a little tiny, I guess you can say it's kind of like a pencil brush. I believe it's titled as a blending brush, but this isn't very good to blend with since it's so small. But I like using this to pack on shades in the outer corner as well as get into the crease, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. Just going in with the black, going in with a little bit each time so that way it's easier to blend it out as opposed to just slapping on all the black. And what I first start off with is kind of sweeping it to towards the lash line. So that way I'm blending it and go you know applying it at the same time so it'll be easier for me to blend. But the way the black looks over the purple, it makes it kind of look just like a darker purple. So that's what I like about this look. So it's not just like complete black that I have in my eye. And kind of going up right here, going up right here to also just get a little wing effect, but keeping it a lot of pressure right here. And as I go up, I just lift it so it's not just completely dark. I want it to kind of fade out. And this time I did get a little bit of that first purplish shade that I used. And the concealer I'm using is from Coastal Scents. It's a creamy concealer, so I feel like it's easier for me to use. And I do go a little bit of up as opposed to, so my crease is right here, the way my eyelid creases or folds. But I go a little bit over it, so that way when it creases up, it's not so much on. I don't know if you noticed, but I recently always use concealer before I apply a shade on my lid. And I know I do it a lot, but it honestly makes such a big difference for me that I've noticed. Because it becomes a tacky base as opposed to just going over the eyeshadow. And I feel like it makes the shadows more vibrant. Especially a shimmery eyeshadow. And I like using creamy concealers as opposed to like a run or as opposed to like a liquid foundation or something like that. It just makes it a lot more tacky. And then going in with the same palette, I'm going to be taking this shade right here. It's really pretty. And for the lid to apply it, I'm just going to be using this little tiny brush. It does not have a name, unfortunately, but it's just a little tiny brush. And 
as you can tell it's very these colors are in the palette are very pigmented on its own but just by applying that concealer first I feel it makes a huge difference And then so that way it's not just like a line of just shimmery and then black. I do go back in with that Coastal Sense brush where I use the black. Take a little bit of product and I'll just start patting right over it so that way, like I said, it's not just a sharp line. And then now I'm just going to use a makeup wipe to clean everything up before I do before I do my wing liner. And you just want to make sure everything's even when it comes to your other eye. It's better to start off lower when you clean it, like go this way and just match it up as opposed to just going straight up and this one being completely different than the other one. I like cleaning it up before I do my liner so that way I create like kind of like a stencil where... I'm going to be applying the liner. For this, I'm going to be using the NYC Liquid Liner. This is the last one that I have by them. I know they discontinued this product, which sucks because it's very popular, but this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to try doing this on camera. Okay, so this is the best I could get it. <laughs> um, I don't think it looks too bad. But now taking this shade from the palette, this pretty frosty white one, I'm going to be taking a Sigma Lash Fan Brush. This is their E04 brush. I love using this shade for my brow highlight as well as this brush because it fits perfectly under my brow bone or under my eyebrow on my brow bone. So I'm just going to be kind of wiggling it so that way I pack, kind of wiggle it to pack on the product first and then I'll brush down a bit. And then just go in with that first wet and wild brush and just make sure there's no harsh lines. So for lashes, I'm going to be using the Anitude Lashes in the style Sassy. So I'm going to go ahead and just put these on really quick. They're really pretty. So now I'm just going to take this smudge proof eyeliner from, I don't know how to say the name. It's D-O-U-C-C-E Cosmetics. I like it because it does stay on long and it does not, um, oh and it's easy to blend. I'm just going to apply it and it's really pigmented. Then I'm going to go back in with that black from the Kathleen Lights palette with a detailed or precise lip line brush from Sigma. It's an LO6 brush. It's really, really tiny and I'm using this to apply the black right on my lash line. 